on the farm. Clouds are hanging low this morning. Barely see the top of the ridge. Not sure if or when we're going to be getting to work today. Because of work, I was not able to get video of the septic tank going in, but she went in nice and smooth, lifted her over the hole and dropped her straight in. So now, he is digging out the field for the septic uh, drainage system to go into that allows the mostly uh, cleaned up water to drain slowly into the soil and let nature take care of what's left. daughter she's 16 years old and she comes out on jobs like this to help him with checking grade um, changing implements on the excavator and whatever else needs done he also runs the skid steer sometimes and on the farm she rakes hay bales hay and does lord knows what other jobs around the farm so she's definitely a very capable young lady easier than swinging a mattock at it. septic field by the way. We were hoping it would be clear digging. We were wrong. Only two shallow trenches and at least four rocks. We did not have good luck on this one. This is the original rock that stopped the digging in the first place. David had to take out somewhere around four, four and a half feet of rock on this one. And that is 
some hard rock. Holy crap. Folks, watch him here. He has the hammer set well. Watch the hammer. Not move. Still working that same rock. It's big and it's very hard. Limestone. So this is the completed septic field, uh, 124 feet is all that was required for this one. Definitely hammer time. Look at that rock. It was way down there. You couldn't move it. So then we got another one down there. And here's the stuff he chipped out yesterday, obviously with all the junk that was laying in the trench, he wasn't able to tell it in this couple spots there. meter will go there and uh, everything's been inspected good to go well today was another long hard day mr. Weems made me work today oh yeah but we got some stuff done trenched water lines all the water lines are actually connected now. A little bit of dirt put over things just to hold them in place until we get all of everything backfilled. But inside of there is uh, valves and whatnot to turn water on and off. And this is the main line coming in from the road. We just radiused it around this curve here and uh, had to go over top of the, uh, the electrical conduit over here. This skinny one that's down in the trench there, that'll be for our Comcast and if we ever have to run anything else like that up here communications conduit what else did we do today oh yeah hang on a second I got something more to show you so today we finished hooking up the septic system so the uh, what we call the black water line is now hooked up that's what we did today it may not seem like much but when it's 100, almost 100 degrees above and the real feel is like significantly more than that then being outside kind of wears on you makes this old man feel like an old man 
I drank uh, 160 ounces of water today. So that ought to tell you something. Anyway, that's it. Something I didn't get any video of was David doing the gray water line. Uh, he trenched out this one here is gray water, that's black water. Gray water comes out about this far and then starts tracking over that direction. So uh, David dug a trench deep enough that it won't freeze. I guess about as deep as the water trench is. And it comes down here. Can't really see where any of the trench is anymore because he covered it all up and smoothed it all out so nice. But this is where it comes out. So I put a little drill on the end just to keep rodents and whatnot out. Um, need to do a little bit of work down around here just to make sure that water can escape easily. And at some point we will put in a little pre-processing pond here, let mother nature do a little bit of uh, preliminary work before it, the water gets released down into the creek area down there. happened right in front of me. I wish I would have had my camera going. I heard some creaking and within probably two seconds it crashed down to the ground. Now if I had been standing underneath this I don't think I would have had time to get out of the way. Plain and simple. If I had been right underneath it I would probably be well if not a very damaged person I'd probably be a dead one. Yet another reason to not put sycamore anywhere where people are going to be. Well, we got the panels up. Got a test rig in there. Um, all it is is uh, when they actually run the wire up from the road. First breaker is there. Test rig is wired up, ready to go. Oh. Almost forgot about my drink. And on the outside, there's wire running from the inside panels into that outside panel. That's all ready. So hopefully inspector will come out tomorrow, take a look at it and give us the go ahead. So the electric guys won't come in and run wire and hook stuff up until all the trenches are filled in. Uh, this is not pretty. <laughs> I've been doing this with the tractor. Um, but uh, I'll finish it up tomorrow and scrape some gravel over it and it'll look pretty good again. We have water.